Hi, I'm Tarani Pennerman, founder of the best-selling naturally curly hair care brand, Curly Belt, and host of The Tarani Show, a show where we talk about hair, a woman's crowning glory. I'm so happy that you've allowed us to be a part of your hair care journey, and I hope that you enjoy the show. So here are the top five hairstyles to stay away from if you are experiencing thinning edges or balding or anything like that. I know that sometimes these things can be like common sense, like, okay, if I'm losing my edges, then maybe I shouldn't do this hairstyle. Or if my hair is balding, then maybe I shouldn't use glue. Sometimes common sense is not common and I'm not even saying that to make fun of people, but even like me, I'm like, okay, I just had in box braids. My edges were not, you know, flourishing after the box braids. Oh, I think I should get box braids again. You need that friend who is going to say, girl, stop. What are you doing? No, you cannot get box braids again. Your hair needs to rest for at least six months to a year because your edges cannot be tampered with at all. So here are the top five hairstyles to stay away from if you are experiencing thinning edges. Number one tops the list, cornrows. So cornrows, you know, are the braids that go like back like this, right? What happens with cornrows, and a lot of people use like, um, extensions with cornrows that is the absolute worst style to get if you are experiencing thinning edges cornrows with extensions maybe you can get cornrows without extensions if you'd like but still that's tension a lot of braiders they will braid your hair really tight that your eyes are like chink and you're like okay i think i saw a meme one time where a guy was like <laughs> He got his hair cornrowed and his friends were like, did you do your eyebrows? <laughs> Why are your eyebrows arched? Well, his eyebrows weren't arched. It was just that the cornrows were so tight that they pulled up, you know, it's a good way to get a facelift if you think about it. But anyway, so cornrows, don't do it. Step away from the cornrows, no extensions, no cornrows, no tension on those edges. Number two, box braids. We all love box braids, you know, Janet Jackson, Poetic Justice. We love it. We love the look. It's chic. I personally think that box braids make you look younger, right? And I love a good box braid. And I like it because of the maintenance, right? So it's very low maintenance and you can wear it for a long time. But this is the worst, absolute worst hairstyle to get if you are experiencing thinning edges. Stay away from the box braids. It will pull out your edges. Believe me, it has done it to me. Number three, anything that involves glue. A rule of thumb is I don't use any type of adhesive on my hair. Uh, I want my hair to stay on my head. So if you are gonna get a hairstyle, a lace front or whatever, and glue is involved in it, Learn something from the girl with the Gorilla Glue incident. Stay away from glue. Do not put glue on your hair. So, mm -mm. just don't do it. I mean, I know your hair is gonna look good temporarily, but glue is not for, glue is not for the hair. It's not for the eyebrows. It's not for the eyelashes. It's like really bad for the eyelashes. And a lot of people are like, I'm gonna get some glue. No, stay away from the glue. Okay, number, I'm on, I'm on number four. Okay, number four, ponytails. Ponytails in general are a bad idea. You don't want to do anything that involves the word ponytail when you are losing your edges. But I do have a hack for this. What I do, because I wear ponytails a lot, is I will part my hair, like right here, so part my edges out of the ponytail. Then I will slick my ponytail back neatly, right? And once I have it back neatly, my edges, I will take them and brush it back with our detangling brush, which is very gentle on your hair. So I would brush my edges back into the ponytail very neatly. 
Then I will take another ponytail holder. I like to use the satin, not the satin, what is it? It's like a pantyhose material ponytail holder. I find that they are better for my um, ponytails and it's less hair in the, in the ponytail holder. So I'll take that and I will put my edges back gently and then put the, another ponytail holder over my ponytail. And then I would put some oil and just, you know, brush my hair back and put my scarf on just to lay my edges down a bit. And I find that that works best for me because there's no tension on my edges and my ponytail still looks nice and still looks sleek. That's exactly what I did with this ponytail. So I have two ponytail holders and this is my little bun. I just put it in a bun um, in the back. And it's a very elegant look. So stay away from ponytails, but a hack if you must wear ponytails is to part your edges out, keep them out, put the rest of the hair in the ponytail, then gently add in your edges into the ponytail. So it looks it looks sleek, it looks like a nicely done ponytail, but my edges aren't stressed at all. There's no tightness in my hair at all. And lastly, number five, sew-ins. So sew-ins are just like cornrows because what do you have to do when you get a sew-in? You're gonna have to get your hair braided down, right? And the braids are usually gonna be tight because the stylist likes to make the braids tight because it will last longer, right? So if you're gonna get a sew-in and you are experiencing bald, like thinning edges, then I would step away from the sew-in, no sew-ins. So you're like, Terry, what do we do? What can we wear? I would suggest putting your hair in like, I think we call them, in the Bahamas, we call them dookie plots, but it's just like, you know, the color purple plots that Whoopi Girlberg had in the movie, those kind of plots. You do those kind of plots and then you get yourself a nice curly wig, right? And you can wear that. That's a great option. If you like wigs, if you like switching it up, do not get your hair braided in cornrows or in anything that is tight. If you're getting your hair braided, you want it to be loose, and then you can put on a wig until your edges grow back. That's an option. Or you can wear your ponytails and then make sure there's no tension on the edges. So the top five hairstyles to stay away from if you're experiencing thinning edges. Number one, cornrows. Number two, box braid. Number three, anything with glue in it. Number four, you want to stay away from, what is number four? What's number four? Sew-ins. You want to stay away from sew-ins because those are just like cornrows. And number five, you want to stay away from ponytails. I hope that this is helpful to you.